Greetings, Mr. and Mrs. America and all the ships at sea, and Happy New Year. It is not actually 2023 yet here in the Philadelphia area where I live, but it will be soon, probably by the time I get this video posted and certainly by the time you watch it. So Happy New Year to you. I uh, hope 2022 is good to you and that 2023 is even better. I'm uh, going to do something a little different today, uh, something that I have never done before, uh, an unboxing video. Uh, so let me give you a little bit of the backstory on it. Um, the company that I work for we is based in Toronto, and instead of doing a team dinner that would require members of the team from Philadelphia like myself and New York and Toronto to all get on planes and go places during the busiest time of the year, uh, my boss said, just buy yourself something that would bring bring joy to you. Um, and before he had finished the sentence, I had already put uh, the item in the cart, uh, and it was uh, a guitar pedal from uh, Electronic Audio Experiments uh, that I had seen. I don't even remember where I saw it, probably on the JHS show or something, called the Dude Incredible. It's like a preamp distortion pedal. Uh, so it arrived today. Uh, just got back from uh, seeing some fireworks down in Philadelphia with my family. Uh, and it was uh, tucked inside the front door. So going to uh, now open it up and share the experience with you in real time. So let's move the camera over. Or you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll move the box over here. That's probably easier. Put the camera back. See, I told you this was the first time I'd done this. So here is the box. Electronic audio experiments. And uh, open it up. Nice brown paper wrapping. Sticker for my file cabinet. Very excited about that. Okay. Not much in the way of wrapping and no instruction manual, uh, which is fine because uh, the wrapping would have just been something that would have ended up in the recycling or in the trash. And uh, really, instruction manual? Uh, I can understand that for the data corruptor, which I just got. But for, uh, for this pedal, I think it's probably unnecessary. So we've got uh, top mounted jacks. Uh, what's the current draw on this? Hundred Less than 100 milliamps. That's good to know. Uh, and so we've got uh, level gain harm, uh, which I guess is some sort of distortion, uh, and then bass treble and balance. I'm not sure what that does. Uh, tube voice and percolate. Well, I guess we'll figure out what all those things do. So let's go ahead and start to get her plugged up. Uh, so having seen that this is a hundred milliamps or less, over here, where I keep my uh, my my pedal board, I'm not going to use the pedal board yet. I don't have um, I don't put Velcro on the back of it till I make sure it works. So all of the black cords are 100 milliamps from my power supply, which you can see is lit up. So let's get that plugged in. Okay. All right, we've got power. And we'll go ahead and I always use this little two foot jack. From the out of the pedal. Into the modeling amp, which is right here. Sorry about my arm in front of the camera. So yeah, the pedal is here. The amp is right there. So to reduce the cable run uh, and keep things tidy, because there's already enough wire in this room, uh, just use that little short two-foot cable, and we'll get a guitar cable. My favorite is this uh, kind of scotch plaid looking one. And we'll plug in, we'll plug into the Duesenberg 
We used that yesterday. And the last step, after knocking over the camera, is turn on the amp. So while that powers up, you'll see that we have it on the top channel, the blue, which is the basement uh, setting. And uh, you can see that I have everything set to just about three o'clock, about 75% up. So uh, it's flat. And since it's subtracted EQ, there's a minimum amount of voicing from the amplifier. Uh, camera there we go okay so get my foot switch out here we'll turn off the overdrive and the reverb guitar is probably in tune uh, I'm not gonna bother with that right now because I want to see how this thing sounds so put my headphones on so I can listen along with you all and let's see what we got. And yes, I do keep uh, guitar picks stuck on my monitor. Okay, so we got both pickups engaged. Tone about halfway. All right, let's turn this pedal on. So we've got all the knobs are at about 12 o'clock. And uh, here we'll tube mode. Ooh, that's tasty. Turn the harm down. Still pretty harmful. Uh, high, low. Okay, we flicked one of the switches down. Let's see what that does. That's a little tamer. all the way up. It's a little bit of crunch. Let's see what the percolate button does. Ooh. So it seems like the harm and the balance dials uh, are impacted by the percolate button. Let's move the camera over here. Urgh. Okay. So if we let's set it up. board back here. Yes, this is what happens when we film live. Okay, so there's the pedal. There's
there's the camera. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, so, clean tone. Now, if we engage the tube voice, sorry, I'm knocking everything over. This is why I don't do unboxing videos, because I'm uncoordinated. This would be better if it had Velcro on it. Okay. And all of my cords are tangled there. Okay. Hopefully this should be better now. Okay. So this was the toggle that I flipped here. Uh, it seems to just be like a high and low amount of gain. So with the low setting and the tube voice engaged, that's what we're getting. We turn it up. So obviously a lot more noise, a lot more gain. Um, and there is, of course, a gain knob here, so we can turn that down, even when it's in the high setting. Or up to stupid levels. And if we put it on the low setting and turn the gain way down, I expect that we'll hear pretty much nothing, no difference. Ah, uh, here we go. So. Pretty much the same thing. In fact, it's just a little quieter. So, unity is probably right about there. So maybe we could play with some tone shaping. So we turn the bass all the way down, the treble all the way up, get some tone shaping compared to the clean signal. So you can still get the tone shaping from the bass and treble knobs. Um, all right, let's turn that off. A lot of that noise is just sort of ambient EMF here in the room. So if I hold the guitar like this, it seems to be fairly quiet. So just the percolate side on. Okay, so the balance, maybe that's a gain level for the percolate circuit? I'm not sure. Let's see. You turn the harm up and leave the balance down. I think that's a diode symbol on there. I'll have to ask somebody who's actually an electrical engineer if they know what that does, but it might change a diode setting.
kind of makes it a little bit more splatty. So if we turn the balance, which seems to be kind of a gain or volume for the percolate side. weird it's very gaty Look it back up. Okay. low harm high balance let's see what this sounds like I mean, I just got to say, this thing is heavy as F. <laughs> I can't imagine needing to stack this pedal with anything, but if you want to, I guess that's what that's for. Keep dropping stuff in here. Okay, so. So we play that same thing. That's a cool sound. Nice 60 sound of that. And then when we throw on the percolate, put it in that down position. Balance way up, in addition to getting all kinds of electronic noise. And then if we turn off the tube voice. Initial thoughts so far, not sure where whether you're tracking with me on this. Um, obviously, well here, let's let's square that away. Let's try it again with, with that at a more normal setting. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. At first, I was going to say that I didn't really see the benefit to stacking the two drives together. Um, but that was because I had kind of a weird uh, tone stack setting on it where um, I had the, uh, the bass way down, the treble way up. But I'm using 
both pickups, uh, Neck and Bridge on the Duesenberg, which is usually more of a mellow, mid-rangey sound. So it was kind of fighting with itself, and it sounded thin. Uh, no surprise there. When I put it back to uh, straight 12 o'clock for bass and treble, which we'll assume is you know about about flat signal response, um, then it makes a lot more sense. <laughs> So without the percolate, nice sound, nice sound, good, good overdrive sound. And you throw that on top of it, then it just gets really, really crunchy. sustain on it too i like it that it, that it keeps the the articulation of the chords pretty nice yeah, i'm a sloppy player and i'm playing these open cowboy chords so on on a less refined uh drive pedal it's gonna you know it's gonna sound like someone screaming into a garbage can um and this sounds a lot less like that maybe someone singing tunefully into a garbage can uh, no it sounds really good uh very cool Let's let's fiddle around with some more of these stacked settings. Let's try with that up. Turn the volume back on. Sorry about all the signal noise. Okay, that's with the volume turned all the way down. I'm a little bit afraid of what's going to happen, uh, but let's do it anyway. Before we hurt somebody so with everything turned all the way up in true like hm2 swedish death metal settings uh i still think this thing retains a lot of articulation which is really impressive i have no idea how the hell they do that because to me the the acid test is like if i play sus chords or if i go from you know from an a to a, a an a7 or something like that um, if I can still hear that with the, with the drive pedal on, then it's, you know, it's picking up the articulation of the, of the, the notes, the component notes of the chord, uh, which is all you can ask. Um, can't ask it to play it any better for you. Uh, if you could, I'd buy that pedal in a minute. Um, this thing is, is crazy good. Uh, really, really cool. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Should we try it on bass? Well, that was a dumb question, right? Let's do it. So just give me a second here. Let's unplug that guitar. Mm. 
Okay. And we got some tangled cords here. Just give me one second to straighten this out a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I haven't changed the amp settings at all. This amp is still set up for a guitar, so it's going to be a little bit, a little bit trebly on that G string for the bass. But that's you know, there's our clean tone. Uh, so let's test it out. Let's try the tube voice side. So flat. Signal curve, level still at parity, gain about halfway, and we are in the low gain setting. Two. This is a clean. Put it on the park plate side. It's a little bit like Angry Bees. Let's turn that down. Let's see if we can get. A little more balance out of this. That's fun stuff so you can't seem to get rid of the angry bees on the percolate side but i mean it is fuzzy uh i don't know if it's technically a fuzz circuit because i don't know anything about electronics but uh it sure as shit sounds like a fuzz circuit to me um and that's cool you know again i think it, it has the articulation it does sound like angry bees uh, some of that might be the amp settings. Like I said, it's a little trebly because it's set up for guitar. And if we want to make it sound like more angry beats, I think we could probably do that. sound angrier it actually sounds a little bit more full I don't like that the tube side let's go high gain turn it up a little bit
Let's try it. So without the percolate. Just the percolate. That is totally cool. Um, I don't even really know how to describe that. I mean, it's really, really rich distortion uh, that gets very, very coarse, very gritty on the tube side. And on the percolate side, it's fuzz that doesn't get more sloppy. It gets fuller as you turn it up. I don't understand how they do that. Um, this thing is just wild, man. Uh, really, really cool pedal. Uh, might even go online to read if I'm using it correctly, if I've understood the circuit. You know, just uh, this is kind of a listen with your ears, not with your eyes kind of uh, video. So I uh, hope you've been able to follow along. I've been trying to, you know, tinker with some different rips. I have obviously haven't rehearsed anything. Uh, didn't even know that this was coming today. It wasn't supposed to come till Tuesday, but happy new year to me. Um, so anyway, I guess maybe we'll just, uh, we'll call it a wrap. So let's uh, put the camera back over here. Not pointed at my lap. There we go. So uh, that's it. The dude incredible. It's uh, as advertised. It's incredible. It's, Definitely the coolest drive pedal that I own, uh, you know, in, including <laughs> the one that I built. Uh, hey, it works, man. You know, it was fun. But this thing is going to get a lot of mileage and gonna, definitely going to be tinkering with it a lot. Uh, if you have a chance to check it out, uh, I would suggest you do so and uh, make sure that you've got money in your bank account when you do, because you're probably going to want to pick one up. Uh, that's it for now. Uh Keep it loud. Uh, have a great new year. Do please like or subscribe or share the video or leave a comment. Leave a comment. I love reading comments. Uh, makes me feel validated in the universe. Uh, but until then, uh, take care of yourselves and we'll see y'all soon.